What's up, babies? It's your boy's pet magic. <laughs> you looking good, uh, Roscoe? Nice, thank you, sir. Thank you very much for that sound check. Can hear you. Right. Okay, so uh, we are ready. And uh, again, there's another question from Stephen. Stephen Petty. Thanks, John. Hi, Roscoe. Um, first of all, congratulations. Roscoe, five years ago, I spoke to you on the side of the Oval in Grahamstown and asked you what, what your plans for the future was. And you just had your breakout season for the sevens. And when I asked you, you said that you were thinking about maybe going back to 15s, but you weren't quite sure thinking about Super Rugby. So can you just reflect on the last five years and how you've managed to go from not sure if you'll even play 15s at Super Rugby level to now being part of the Springbok setup? Hi, Stevie. Yes, uh, I, made a, I, made my, I made a decision in 2017 when I went on a loan to the Cheetahs, where I'm currently playing for now. And then I just realized, okay, now I think I can... I um, don't want to be one of those guys who just want to be a 15 player, a sevens player. And coming to the Cheetahs was just showing, okay, now I can still play 15 men also, and then just go back to the sevens. And in 2018, that's where I joined the Bulls. And I think that's where everything come together. And that's where I was relaxing that now I'm going to give this thing my all no in 15 men. Thank you, Roscoe. And we go over to, again, uh, Felisande. Speckis, I think we're going to get a lot of questions about Gramstown. This is quite a contingent of Gramstown people here that come from there. Um, just what was that, what has been the, the conversations with your dad, Om Chigza? And I know he's, he's, a, he's a big rugby man coming from the Swallows Rugby Club. Um, you know, you, you've obviously been somebody that's that's always taken your career quite seriously from a very young age, uh, and he's been a big part of that in, in your growth and your support system. What have been the conversations with your dad over the last couple of, of, of weeks since you've been named in the in the Springbok squad? I, think I must say, if, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have been sitting where I'm sitting now in terms of being in this in the squad. And, he was the guy that said, listen, your discipline and hard work will beat anything, even talent also. So if it wasn't for him giving me that platform from a young age, I wouldn't have been here. And the chat that we have now is just saying, listen, yeah, this is now where the hard work starts. You you maybe be in the, the bigger squad, but there's still hard work to, to be done, baby. Good stuff. Thank you, Roscoe. And uh, there's a question from Nathan. Yes, um, Roscoe, um, Spec Magic, uh, you mentioned you were hard done by the way you left the Bulls. Do you feel satisfied or let me say relieved that your performances on the field have been rewarded with a buck caller? I think sometimes when one door closed, another one's opened through our mighty God that we serve. And for me, just by the way I'm, I was, I left the Bulls wasn't on my terms, but I made peace with it. But that was also a turning point in terms of my career where I look at myself and ask myself, maybe it's, maybe it's not where there's a problem that the coach, I have a problem with the coach, maybe it's me also not doing the things that maybe the coach that, that is now with the Bulls wants. And that's where I was looking deep in, into myself also to think maybe Roscoe, you're the problem. And I think for me now looking at it back, it was something good also, is just give you that switch to to show you less senior, you can you can score a hat trick one game and everyone is happy. The next moment you're not there anymore. So that was also a turning point and also telling me now you must work hard once again. Thank you, Roscoe. There's a question from Fatima. Hi, Roscoe. Um, it's, a very t uh, it's an extremely exciting time ahead for you to be part of the Springboks, I'm sure. Um, I just wanted to know how you're feeling at the moment and just also being on loan to the DHL students and working, for example, 
with a coach like John Dobson, it's a completely different environment from where you came from. So um, how are you feeling at the moment? Hey, Fatima, first of all, I'm, I'm just blessed to be here in the training camp. Uh, my time at the Stormers was also something good and it's it's always nice for me also just to get game time. That's why I went to, to the Stormers, just to get game time. So then I have a, a much good chance just for making the squad like the team, not the team, like the squad, the bigger squad. That was the that was one of the big reasons going to the storm is so I can just have more game time and put myself in a good chance to make the squad. Thank you, Roscoe. Moving on swiftly, Linky in Bloemfontein. Thanks, Ryan. Hi Roscoe, I hope you're well. Um just quickly, um I want to hear um how is the vibe in the camp for you? How are you experiencing this um, yeah, this week or since you've been joined there? And if you're going to have any personal superstitions that you're going to implement during this tour? And yeah, what is Spec Magic going to mean for this specific tour? Thanks. <laughs> Spec Magic will stay Spec Magic. Uh, I must say so far the vibe has been great. There's a lot of guys from the different unions coming together. They also have their own vibe guy that will bring the vibe maybe at the Sharks, Lions, Bulls, Stormers. So all of them, all of us coming together, just make sure that we we bring the energy every time when we're on the bus, on the field. When it's time to work, we work. On the field, we, you just do what you want to do. Let's back magic, you know, it's easy vibes, just enjoying yourself. And so far, I must say it's been a blessing just being in the camp. I, I always tell myself like, this opportunity won't come every time. So I must be like a sponge. I must get all the information out of Valley, Cheslin, and Mampimp is not here. But so even when they come in, I must get information also to, to take my game also to the next level because they have played at the highest level. And I also want to play there one day. So that is what I'm doing now. I'm just like being like a sponge now. Thank you. Uh, Stephen Nell, you up next? Uh, thanks, guys. Uh, thanks, uh, Roscoe, for chatting to us. Um, the, the, we spoke about, or you mentioned the cheetahs on a few occasions, um, and it's clearly um, what you brought out uh, is the very important uh, purpose that the cheetahs um, also serve in South African rugby. Um, are you guys, is it is it a tough for you guys now at the cheetahs? I suppose you would be playing, you'd not be playing in, this, in the same competition and so on. Would you have to in a way, reconsider your future? Are you are you confident that the Cheetahs could still, um, it's it's still almost uh, worth your while being at the Cheetahs, you know, the great union that, that has done so much for you on a few occasions in your in your career? I think for now, me and Coach Alvi has a, a good understanding. If he feels like now, if I must maybe go to the Stormers again in maybe in the pro, Pro rugby season or this new competition that's coming out next year. Uh, me and Coach Harvey said a good understanding, so he will maybe let me go, or if he feels that I must stay and play the game that he line up for the cheaters, then I will I will stay at the cheaters. But for now, we have a good understanding, me and Coach Harvey. Thank you, and uh, Percival Young. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Mr. Spikman. Spikman, can you ask me in Afrikaans? I'm very happy to meet you with your place in the group. Spikman, can you ask me? I've had a lot of time with Alfred Ravis to talk about it and to talk about it. Hello, Pini Sikri. I've seen that I've lost the last time I've heard about the players. Have you ever thought that you're in a Springbok group? in jou denkwijse die afgelopen jaar of twee ek het gehoor, jy praat in Engels van wat, wanneer jy op sluit geneem, het jy enigszins gedink aan, dat dit ook een groot Olympische jaar, was dit enigszins een oorweging vir jou gewees, van sommige kere, besef vir mensie, die groot voorrecht het is, om het vir 15 man rugby te speel, en selfs vir die blusboke te speel. Was jy, hy was maar, een van die dinge wat, wat ek gedink het, ek gaan moen, een kese maak, as dit nou, as dit waar word, van ek het gekyk ook met ouderdom, ja so voort, ek is nou, 32 en ek werk nog steeds so hard en te krijg nou die geleentheid om te sê, kijk, die daar kan in die eerste alignment groep was ek daar, tweede een, en ek dink in die tweede een, toe men 
doet ik een coach nieuw uh, oproep en ik denk dat ik voor me zeg hey, coach ik denk ik was nog op de Olympics en maar ik was nog eens springboekje terms of en het wat de wat de groot doel zal het voor mij wees en net om in die groep te wees om die die Britse leeuws te speel en het komt net ja ik het twaalf jaar zo so, ik denk als ik moet kies gaan gaan ik die voor die springboekje die die Britse eerste leeuws kies en coach Nille heeft gezegd kijk hier ons wil geef je we geven jou alles en maak alles naar die beste. Op de ene van die dag is het jou besluit. En ik heb altijd mezelf gezegd, ik wil een van die ouders is om te zeggen, ja, so Roos, we weten wat. Je kon die kant toe gaan, het maar je die ene gekies en die was verkeerd. Zo so, zeg ik mezelf, oké, okay, nee, maak een besluit en ga 100% samen doen. Baie dankie Rosco, ek wil ook net vraag vir die voordeel uh, for the benefit of our English speaking uh, media. Um, it was an important question that was posed to you in terms of the, the Olympic year. Um, uh, and did, did that weigh on your de decision uh, in terms of where you want to play this year? And um, if you can just repeat very, very briefly uh, your, your answer to uh, uh, that you just gave. It was a tough one for for me to to choose, but I think when me and Coach Neil had a conversation, he said, "Listen, Senor Rosco, if this opportunity comes your way, you 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 did play at Olympics before, so but you don't think if you will play <laughs> again. So if it was up to me, I will give you the freedom to go to the camp, do your best, and give everything. Because at the end of the day, I don't want to be that guy who said, "Listen, yeah, I could have gone." To Olympics and maybe won gold, or I could have won, go to the box and won the trophy that side also. So then I just told myself, listen, your Rosco, it's once in a lifetime, it comes only 12 years, every 12 years. So go ma for the bigger one. I won't say, I don't say Olympics is not a big one, but uh, I have played in the Olympics, but I haven't played for the Springboks before. Thank you very much for that and your understanding. And we're going to end off with uh, two more questions. Uh, it will be Adnan Muhammad that will be followed by Stephen. So Adnan, your question. Yeah, hi Roscoe. Um, just uh, just on, on um, you mentioned Cheslin Colby earlier on. We saw um, when when he was given the opportunity, he's a, he's a guy, um, you know, that wasn't previously rated um, you know, or appreciated his, his talent, and you've you've got some of that kind of qualities. Just uh, um, from your perspective, um, how much does it mean if a coach puts um, confidence or gives confidence uh, or has confidence in you? And also, what inspiration has you, have you drawn from um, the performance of Cheslin and and what he has achieved so far? What a great question. Uh... Just to be in the category of Cheslin Kobe means something amazing for me also. And one thing that I that I think the reason why they got the best out of Chesley, the coach was backing him, not because of his size, but of his capability, what he can do on the field. And you saw you saw in the finals what the guy can do. He can do something out of nothing, even now for his club in, in France, what the kid can do is amazing. So when the coach back you 100%, you will do anything in your power. You're never disappoint you. Thank you. And uh, we conclude then with Stephen Nell's question to Roska. My sincere apologies. I I forgot my hand. <laughs> you left your you left your hand hanging. Um, okay. I'm, uh, I'm getting old. Sorry. <laughs> Good luck, Roska. <laughs> Why, Stevie, me too. <laughs> okay, I think that um, on, on that note, then um, uh, we will. Can I also pick one? Can I take one? One, one second, one second. Um, Ashwak? Yeah, just else? a quick one. Yep. Uh, uh, um, Roscoe, uh, you say you're 32, but you're still very quick. Have you guys done speed tests in the Springbok camp, or no, are you the fastest? Uh, I, uh, no, not yet, not yet, but I think. Uh, I'm like old wine. The older I'm getting, the better I'm getting.